Greetings everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Wednesday, July the 27th, and this is the Klaus Torian 1914, and this is by H.R. Frau Forst und Frausenbrau, 11.69 megabytes to download, and, and on console, as I am on PS5, it is 14 slots uh, <clears throat> for the first one. Now... This is an interesting wheel loader. Uh, I do believe it was, um, we had this in Farm Sim 19, however. We have it now here, and we'll find it under wheel loaders, and there it is, the Class Tryon 1914. 248500 so it is exactly the same price as the um, base game one. However, there has been several improvements as we shall see. So, first of all, the horsepower up to 280 horsepower, 280 liters of fuel. That's the same, 24 miles per hour, the same as well. And the weight um, and the slots is just slightly more. However, there are a number of options. <clears throat> so, we have the Dev Mule, which is actually a camouflage type of paint when they're uh, st still developing the vehicle. And testing it so that uh, the competition can't really get a good look at it. However, I don't know how well that actually looks. But anyways, here is the standard paint version. And we'll stay with that for now. Um, $6,800 for that um, crazy black and white uh, pattern. Uh, Wheel Brands, Trillberg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vertistein, Nokian, and Olafsfars. Um, and then back to Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, we have wide and super duper wide. And then back to standard Michelin, uh, same super duper wide tires. Continental, just a uh, slightly wider. Midas, again, all the color, all the tires. BKT, oops, BKT, we have just slightly wider. Vertistein, no choice. Nokian, the ground king and the tractor king and then the uh, co uh, com commercial type and olaf's fours is just that like so so let's keep those on there for now because it has a color option window tinting yes or no the extra 250 bucks for that we'll leave that off in a because we'll show you in a minute Beacon lights, yes or no, and then there's a several choices. Front fenders, you have them or you don't. 250 bucks to take them off. Hmm. <clears throat> Engine setup, you have the 1914 and the Stage 1, which gives you 280 horsepower. Uh, lettering background color, now that is, ah, uh, yes. The color of the background behind the lettering on the back. So you don't get that if uh, you have the development uh, camo on there. Seat color will make it bright green so you can see it. Main color, now you have every color you would care to have. And that is, uh, well, as you can see, not the cab. Uh, let's make it white. There you go. And then you have cabin color, which we can make that, we'll make that uh, pink as well. There you go. Or we'll make it, oh, I don't know, red. Yes, red. And the, the Olaf's Fours color, we can make that uh, orange. Yeah, orange, why not? And then, of course, the rim color, let's make that something goofy like, I don't know, blue. That's not really goofy. But anyways, and then your license plate. So, right. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Let's uh, let's hop in. Start up. As you can see, the lights are very well lit. Beacons up there. Uh, signals. Yes, left and right signals. Signals in the front. Now, let's get our help window on because we're going to need it. Now, as you can see, there's a little one above the uh, tractor there right now. And that is because that is your 
operation of your bucket and everything so so like l1 and uh, that is l1 and right stick like so left and right up and down r1 nothing honk oh nothing strange about the horn l1 and r1 mm, that's pretty much basic so let's hop inside here just to take a look around mirrors are very nice Yes, they, they actually do work, which is nice. <clears throat> now, if we tap the triangle button, it'll give us the control group door and windows, too. Now we have L1 and right stick. Left and right opens up the driver's door. And up and down on your right stick, L1 opens that little vent window. Yes, indeed it does. R1, right stick up and down, opens up the right vent window. For that extra cross ventilation yes well at least they put it on a second group now we go back to control group arm one and we are back to our and we have the joystick movement with the uh, with the front loader going up and down which is pretty nice all right so back out of there here we have an example with a very large bucket 6,000 liter bucket and we're just going to uh, grab some silage we have on the ground here like so and this is the wide tires as you can see 25 26 miles an hour so it handles this big bucket pretty good. Yeah, 25 miles per hour. I like the wide tires. It gives it much more stability when you have quite a, quite a large, um, heavy load on the front. Just dump that out. And we'll see. Uh, filling it with rocks was a bit heavy. This bucket size is a little bit large for for that much rocks. As you can see, it's you don't quite have it quite full, but it's definitely <laughs> definitely a little bit heavy. But there are ways to put extra weight on the back of these. But um, all in all, turns the response is nice. It uh, yeah, it's a nice uh, loader. And there it is. That's the Kloss Tryon 1914 by H R Forst und Frauenbrau. Um, 11.69 megabytes to download and 14 slots on console. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.